Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. So today we're going to be looking at Substance Painter 2019.3, the new features that comes with this new release. And also we're going to have a quick walkthrough about these new features. So just in case you want to get your hands dirty with this, it's going to be extremely easy for you. Today we're seeing some very cool improvements and features that would definitely change the way you work with Substance Painter. One of the very main highlights of this brand new version that is released is right now you don't need to actually cut UVs in any 3D app of your choice. You just need to bring that model directly in here and Substance would automatically cut it out for you. This is in relation with the project Anorogamy that was shown in SIGGRAPH 2018 and today it is available and you can get Substance Painter 2019.3 and start working with that feature. And also cool features that are coming with this new version is an improved Substance engine and there is another brand new feature that everyone is definitely going to like. So you know how you have a couple of brushes in Photoshop and you wish to have those brushes in substance now you have all those things at your own fingertips so you can simply you know open up substance right now and get all of the brushes that you have in Photoshop and import them directly into substance so Photoshop brushes are now native to substance painter and you can work with them and still speaking about the Photoshop brushes substance painter actually ships with about a hundred free brushes that you can work with just in case you don't have Photoshop license or probably you don't have a license to get some more you can work with these ones you can still download brushes .abr files and import them directly into substance the stamp blending mode has also been improved also there are a set of new paint roller strokes that is now available so we now have smooth curves that are working with the new paint roller stroke so it's going to be extremely easy if you want to paint things like your stream folds pipes and all that you can easily paint these things here and still speaking about things that you can paint you can literally now create your own kind of paint directly inside substance painter so what do i mean by this you can now get an image and load that image inside and with the use of the brand new set of filters that now ships with substance painter 2019.3 you can convert any of the paintings that you have directly inside substance to either comic charcoal watercolor you know and so on and i know a lot of people including me have been asking when is udims coming over to substance and yes udims is being teased to be coming over to substance painter as soon as possible so hopefully by next year within the first quarter of next year or within the next release of substance painter we will probably be seeing udims coming over to substance painter and also at the same time it's going to be extremely interesting to see that you can paint across your uvs the same way you can do in blender and the same way you can do in Mari and also Maya. And this is definitely going to be a huge game changer for a lot of people. And with that said, let's get right into Substance Painter 2019.3 and take a look at these interesting features and actually play with them. So first things which I need to do is come over to ZBrush and this is ZBrush right here. And we're just going to go through, look at this dog head and I'm going to export this. I want to make sure I don't have my UVs. So I've intentionally deleted the UVs that we have here. So you can see we do not have UVs here. And I'm also going to go ahead and export this. So with the dog head exported from ZBrush, I'm coming over to Substance Painter and I'm going to come over here and say new just to get a new one. Hit on word select, select the dog head, which I have here. And I'm just simply going to say open. And the first thing that, you know, Substance is going to do is it's going to check this model. Make sure that it has UVs. If it doesn't have UV, Substance Painter is going to go through and actually create UVs for us. This could actually vary in time depending on how dense or how, you know, complex your model is. And so with this one, you just need to make sure you don't have import this, create that turned on, else it's not going to do this. So next thing which I need to do is just simply click on OK and allow Substance Painter to do its magic. And you can see right here on our screen it says automatic uv unwrapping is going on and it's going to cut seams for us and actually create something interesting so with that done you're going to see that we have our dog head and we can see a very clean uv here so this is like a one huge map uv of course if you're cutting uv by hand you'll probably cut this a little bit different for the most part this is actually a very decent job owing to the fact that this is doing this automatically and i know it's going to save a lot of time for a lot of zbrush artists a lot of sculpting artists this is going to save you guys so much time so with this done if you want to bake your map you can go ahead 
and big your map but then we're just going to talk about the cool features that we have here so what i need to do now is i need to come down to this part select this color right here and i just want to make it red just because we like things red and i'm going to simply expand this brush a bit and you can see that directly from here we have a crosshair and you can change these things from here so now you can switch to any brush that you want to work with actually let's undo this and select the symmetry and then if we go over to the part where we have brushes i want to show you guys the new implementation to the brushes so you can see that we now have a small ps attached to the brush which tells you that it's a photoshop brush so you can import any photoshop brush of your choice and you can play with them directly here so i'm going to pick any of these photoshop brushes and we can just simply go in and work with them so by just simply clicking on this one i'll turn down the size and you can see that if you actually like working with the full resolution of course you can have this so you can take a look at what it looks like or you can simply have an outline that just shows you what it looks like so we can just go in and make some changes and probably we should you know check out some other brushes as well let me just rotate around this maybe make some of these changes pretty cool changes i think and just paint this across the model okay so while we're still painting this across the model you may also have noticed that we have some other extra brushes down here so one of the other brushes which i told you guys about that is now available in substance painter is the paint roller stroke so if i simply come all the way down here you would notice that we have a couple of strokes called the paint ruler stroke and you can select these strokes and simply create different strokes ranging from stitches to trims to pipes so you can select them from here and you can get some very cool things that you can work with so all of these things are here for you to play with and the next thing which i want to share with you guys is something i kind of feel would make the way you work change maybe slightly so if you come down to this part where you have this going on you can simply choose to add a filter so you can choose to add a filter like this which will need you to come over to this filter section so let's go over to the filter section and i'm just going to you know raise this up and you can see we have a set of brand new filters that have been added i'm going to select the watercolor filter and just simply drop this and you can notice if i simply turn this off you see what we have if i turn this on you can see we have some watercolor effect happening so i'm just going to turn this off and on off and on so you can see that watercolor effect happening now you may not really see this depending on what you're doing but if i come down here and start changing the border spread you will notice that we have some changes going on here okay so if this doesn't really make you smile then maybe this will so the border density is also something else that you can change so you can also turn this down and you can start getting all of that watercolor feel that you may want to work with so you can also use this to you know increase that and play with this just to get that watercolor feel select the material effect and select the comic one and just simply drop this right here and you can see we're having some very cool looking stuff going on here this is pretty cool i tell you so this looks really cool from my own point of view and if i simply turn this on right now you can see that the comic effect is taking what we have here as a paint and it's taking what we have here which is the watercolor and it's applying the comic feel directly on top of it you can still choose to actually change the you know the intensity based off the border you can still also choose to change how much input you're having and you can also choose the luminosity which has to do with how bright this is and if you want to get the colors back if you want to get the colors from the watercolor we can come over to this part where we have the color intensity and we can start increasing that color intensity and slightly you can see you can start getting some very cool looking stuff so this way you can make certain changes here and i kind of think that these features are very cool ones that are now coming over to substance painter and of course at the end of the day if you want to simply you know blow things out you can just throw this there pick this blow drop this blow directly here so you can play with any of these filters that you want to work with and this simply includes if you want to work with the water filter which will actually generate water on top of your model link to where you can find all of this is going to be in the description and at the same time if you want to register for the beta so that you'll be able to test the new udims that will be coming over to substance painter 
link to that is also going to be in the description so you can go through and check those ones out and that's about it tell me what you guys think about these in the comment section and if you like this video you learned something from it go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to turn on the notification and if you're new here it's going to be amazing if you can hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace